Good morning. Welcome back to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Parrott, your host. All right, I want to share with you one more thing. Uh, Phil uh, Kosmala with Tabor Kosmala, uh, managing partner and uh, chief strategist. Again, $12 billion money under management. Phil, uh, the internationals, this is one of the areas, one of the categories we've been talking about. Um, how do you see that uh, playing in now? I mean, the U.S. has been outperforming, what, 10 plus years anyway. And uh, now, is that is that about to change maybe? Yeah, I think it's, it's been 12 years now where you've had U.S. dominance, or at least on a relative basis, where U.S. markets have outperformed their international counterparts for over a decade now. It's the longest run with data going back to 1950. And what's the catalyst, Hank? What usually, uh, what type of environment do you see international stocks outperform? And valuation alone is a bad decision. And trade on valuation alone because you could be wrong for a decade. Like we saw here, you could, international stocks have been cheaper than the US for a decade. Um, but what we're seeing now is two other factors that have finally come into play. Number one is the US dollar has been strong for 12 years. And we're finally starting to see that reverse. The dollar has been really weak here and we're seeing international markets perform much better than the US, uh, especially in the midst of this 5% correction. So I think the dollar is critically important, Hank, to unlocking this, uh, or at least reversing the 12 year trend that we've seen in US, out, US out performance. Yeah. But secondary is earnings growth. And I think mm -hmm. people forget that the cheaper valuations have been around for a long time. They've never been this cheap. This is the cheapest international markets have ever been relative to the U.S. But that other factor, the third leg of the stool right now, is earnings growth for the next three quarters is going to be substantially higher mm -hmm. in Europe. They didn't do the same level of stimulus we did. And so we're starting, yeah. finally starting to see our, our growth rate slow a little bit. And so that's right in investing. This, and another, we this again, that. we're running we're running short. Phil, I really appreciate you today. And uh, again, hope this has been helpful for you this week. These are the kind of insights that hopefully help you uh, get your house in order as well. Um, so again, hope it's been helpful for you this week. And then you'll join us here each and every week on the Retirement Report.